Good morning and or afternoon, my angels. I am devastated to be missing you today. I'm probably not having a wonderful time at my meeting, but you get to have a great time in my stead. So this is fantastic for you. So we've already covered uh, three of the five propaganda techniques that I need you to be familiar with. Uh, the first one was framing, which is when you simply present a a biased selection of the evidence available um, so that your audience is more inclined to be interested in that product. Uh, for instance, I might say um, one of the best examples is this is, tw you know, 80% lean beef. Well, that neglects the fact that it's 20% fat beef. Um, or I could say, uh, this water bottle is fantastic at keeping drinks cold. Well, that leaves out the fact that it is really lousy at keeping them hot. Um, so the uh, framing is simply a way of presenting information such that it is uh, convincing. It's, it's an appeal to logos that only calls on a certain s relatively small selection of that logical piece of information. Uh, so that's framing. Um, Obviously, bandwagon, nice and easy one with bandwagon. We're looking at, um, you know, everybody else is doing it. You can do it too. Um, most advertisements that involve some kind of you, uh, we're like literally using the word Y-O-U, you, are frequently going to be bandwagon. Uh, you should blah, blah, blah. Uh, usually with the implication that you would be the odd man out if you did not do blah, 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 so-and-so. Um, so th that's, that's framing and bandwagon. Um, finally, we've already covered testimonial, which is simply using the experience of someone else to sell a product. And I wanna make sure that you understand that testimonial is not just famous people. It can be any person. Uh, when you, you know, go to a website, you'll s sometimes see uh, a link to testimonials and it won't be like, you know, Steph Curry every time, sometimes it'll just be like, uh, Joanna and Stacy tried out our product and they loved it. Here they are to tell you all about it. Or I love my Honda so much, like that sort of thing where it's me testifying, right? That's that same root word, testimony, testimonial, testify, where I'm testifying or simply saying, uh, here is my experience. Um, you should trust it because that's what I said. Um, testimonials, primarily, however, you see them with uh, celebrities. That's your primary thing there. Uh, however, when you're moving into your advertisement project, um, it doesn't have to be a celebrity. It could be, you know, a quote from Eliza saying, hey, I, I loved this. I thought it was a really good book. Um, that is, a testimonial is generally going to be an ethos-driven uh, rhetorical appeal. Um, so if we're, if we're looking at framing, we're looking at a uh, logos appeal. It is, it is all about the facts. Uh, when we're looking at bandwagon, that's going to be pathos uh, because you know, you'll feel left out. You'll be, you'll be bad. Um, you'll be lonely if you don't go and buy this product or engage in whatever behavior. Uh, when you're working with testimonials, um, that's going to be your ethos. Um, even if it's a matter of, I have this experience, just like we talked about establishing yourself as an expert. When I quote Elisa saying, oh man, I totally love Stiff. Uh, I read it and it changed my life, blah, blah, blah. She's implying that she's got the credibility there. Um, so that's the three that we've already covered. The, the two new ones are repetition and emotional appeal. Emotional appeal is really very obvious. It's just straight pathos. Uh, it doesn't necessarily call on bandwagon, uh, although that is a somewhat subset of emotional appeal. Emotional appeal, however, is going to be usually significantly more over the top. It'll use things like fear. If you don't buy house insurance, look at what could happen to your house. Here's a, and they'll show you an image of a, you know, a house in a flood or something. Uh, and they'll use the babies, and they'll get you all like, oh, the babies, they're so cute. Or they'll show little baby ducklings, like, eh, three cents a day, and you could save all the baby ducklings. All right, so a lot of the guilt motivation is going to be emotional appeal, but even happy stuff and fearful stuff as well. Um, so 
so that, again, uh, strongly in the pathos category. Uh, our last technique that I really need you to understand is simply repetition. And repetition, it doesn't fall neatly within any of the rhetorical uh, slogans because it's just, it's frustrating. Repetition is simply repeating something over and over and over again. Uh, and one of the most common ways to do repetition is a commercial jingle. Right? There are commercials that use the same jingle over and over and over again. Meow mix, meow mix, meow mix, meow mix. And you just get it stuck in your head and your brain is like, oh my God, meow mix, I gotta get it. I got the thing in my brain. So that's how repetition works. And it just, it almost lodges itself in your brain. Um, Super Bowl commercials can, can be notorious for that. And they'll just do something very repetitive over and over and over again. And um, you'll have it stuck in your head. So that's repetition. I want you to make sure that your notes on this are, are really clear um, and that if you have any questions, uh, you should please email me with them. So your next steps after uh, emailing me any questions and clearing up your notes are to um, complete your propaganda analysis that you already began, the one on the first three techniques on bandwagon framing and uh, testimonial. Once you're finished with that one, I want you to actually move on to another propaganda analysis. You are going to do um, a new one for emotional appeal and repetition. If you'd like to link to YouTube videos, that's absolutely fine. Um, if you can somehow figure out how to embed it into the, the page on Google Drive, that's even better. Uh, super mega high fives, probably chocolate involved as well. Uh, if you can't, however, that's fine. Just a link, or if you just want to use an image, that's that's fine as well. Uh, whatever you do, make sure that it's justified with a full precision paragraph to explain how it represents that propaganda technique. If you are somehow so, so organized, and this would be phenomenal, that you are able to finish both of those as well as cleaning up your notes today, um, then what I'd like you to do is go on to the prompt uh, for the project. And um, I've, I've posted it on Google Drive, uh, I'm sorry, on Google Classroom. But ultimately what you need to do is create a large scale advertisement. Um, it should be at least you know two feet of paper long. You can make it vertical or horizontal. Um, and I want you to create an advertisement for your literature circle book. Um, you can work by yourself if you're so inclined. You can work in teams of two, teams of three, teams of four, no more than five, of course. Um, you may only work with people in your lit circle book, even if they are in um, another, if they're in another lit circle, but they're doing the same book, I still don't want you to work with them. I want you to work with the groups that I've assigned you in. Um, just bear with me. Um, so again, your options are work solo, work in a small group or a partnership, um, but you must remain within your lit circle group and you must advertise your Lit Circle book. You're not gonna make up a random product or advertise something else. I want you to be able to apply all the things that you've learned about these books to this very new challenging technique for you, this propaganda. And I want you to be able to like merge those together so that you're getting this really full experience. And I, I think it'll be really beneficial for you. And I think ultimately you'll enjoy it and then I can put them up uh, next year when students are selecting which books they'd want to do. So I think this will be an interesting project for you, and it'll really impact future students as well. Uh, on that note, I'm going to let you go. I hope you enjoy, and please, please, please email me if you have any problems. Be kind to the sub, and uh, behave. Mwah.